Hey guys, it's Dante Dude here, and uh, this might be a weird place to cut back in, but this is exactly where I left off before I ended up my last episode kind of abruptly in the middle of the episode. But this time, let's play Pokemon's Coliseum, which I haven't played in like like a month. We're going to be fighting this other person to go get to Steven or whatever the little wimp's name we have to save is that it was taken friend remember from a while ago. You probably don't remember him, especially because half the people here weren't even there for the earlier part of my Pokemon Coliseum Let's Play. But uh, a little like advertisement here and it should have been in the annotation in the beginning of the video if I'm not lazy and I edited it in. I've been I have 30 more episodes because this is episode 31. I have 30 episodes of this and I have a playlist if you want to just sit back You're really bored. Maybe it's like snowing outside like it is here You can go uh, sit back put on those and enjoy the fun. It'll come from like way while back because I started this let's play a while 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 ago But it'll come from all the way back then and then you'll slowly brought it be brought up back to speed and for you guys who've been sticking in here and been enjoying the let's play and I really should switch out someone else for him on top uh, You'll probably notice like a bunch of changes first off the levels are a lot higher from last uh, Last episode I was doing a lot of off-screen training at Mount Battle I got up to the 50th trainer how Mount Battle works is you play 10 and then they give you these things called Pokeco ones My main goal at Mount Battle and also I went the level up my main goal over at Mount Battle was to uh uh, I should, yeah, I should just switch him on top out, but my main goal over at Mount Battle was, oh, I, uh, yeah, I actually caught Letting in. I don't think I caught it in the first recording when I, the power outage happened, and then I talked in the box with the picture of Snorlax coming out, but I actually caught Letting this time it, with a Pokeball. I threw two great balls in the mark, but with a Pokeball, but, oh, crap. Oh, yeah, there are a lot higher levels. I was over at, uh, Mount Battle, uh, I was over at Mount Battle trying to get Pokemon to get better moves for my Pokemon. Actually, two major moves I was going for there was uh, Flamethrower, which Quilava doesn't earn to all. I think Quilava doesn't learn it till like 50 something, and then his Evolve form doesn't learn it till like 65. So I was like, ah, oh, it's not worth it, especially because I'm not sure how high level it would be by end game so it really wouldn't be worth it and he it's a lot stronger move than uh flame wheel so really worth it so i almost got like all the way to getting enough poke coupons it takes way more effort than it should but i was going for that and i was also going psychic for uh espion because espion really needs a a lot better uh attack because I mean, uh, whatever the move she has now. I think it's Psybeam. I actually just got Psybeam for it, which is a better Confusion. Confusion, what she had before. Confusion, I think it's like 60, and then Psybeam's like 75. So it's a lot better, but I think Confusion had a higher rate of confusing them. <laughs> confusion. Dun, dun, dun. But, yeah, so I, I'm just trying to get my Pokemon level. I've been more like into the game. Like, Chug Conroy, yes, I always talk about him, but his Let's Plays. Pokemon just remind me, hey, I'm let's playing Pokemon. I really like this game. I know I need to get more, remember more of the mechanics and what makes a Pokemon strong. As in, I added, also added Toxic to Umbreon. So Umbreon is now what an Umbreon should be. It's not supposed to be much of an attacker. It's supposed to be more of a, like a guy to make you mad. Like, now he has Confused Rain and Toxic. So I'll hit you with a Confused Rain. You can't do an attack, Toxic you, and then that Pokemon's out of the game pretty much. That's what Umbreon's really good for, because she or he, I, I I can't really, I don't know what gender it actually is, but I think him more is a he, him is more of a he, blah, blah, blah. but actually it is a he, but I keep saying but, I always keep doing that, but it, Umbreon is mostly meant to uh, be sor sort of a wall, as is Kualava supposed to be attacker, that's why I want flamethrower for him, wait a second, oh yeah, I was gonna say, like, wait, that's a stupid idea, isn't, uh, Quilava a major attack attacker, but he's attacking special attack, he's got high, but his defense and HP really isn't that good, and wow, I got through this whole battle without really, with just catching you guys up on that stuff, how could we lose the ball of us all, so I guess we should be able to heal our friend, uh, save our friend Stefan now, because idiots in video games are just like, we'll run away and give you the key or drop it for any reason, we're out of their league against this guy, Nope, they didn't drop anything, but can I just, like, open this door? The door is locked. Okay, so Stefan, or whatever the heck his name is, just stuck in there. Oh, I can talk to him, at least. Scott, oh, Sil Silva. Still a really girly name for a guy. Scott, it's si it's me, Silva, from Dukings. I discovered that they were bringing Shadow Pokemon here to, to Pyrate from here. That's as far as I got when they caught me like this. But I did manage to fil filch, 
Fellas, I've never heard that word before. If you know what that is, it's probably steel or something. Please tell me in the comments down below this from me. Here you go. Obtain the R disc. I think it's an item that's useful only down here in the under. Well, we already have our F disc that moves this UFO thing. I don't know why it's called a UFO thing. It does kind of look like a UFO. But let's go use this R disc, uh, R disc over here and see what it does. Maybe it takes us to that secret area that we saw in that one cutscene where Ian was talking to the evil bad people in America. All systems in travel for right direction. Ball now. Freeze. I don't know why it has a voice like that. But, uh, oh, I wanted to pause and show you my Pokemon right here. I'll just show you after I move the thing. Two major changes you're going to notice in my lineup, and I, I already mentioned the one earlier. They're so much higher level, and I probably should go heal, but uh, I don't really feel like it. And, and Ledian shouldn't be here. She's not supposed to be part of my team, but because I caught her, she's just here. So, uh, Ghosty or Mischievous is also gone, too, after you notice. Uh, I leveled them up like 9 or 10 levels, because last episode you saw Kualava was 32. And actually, Kualava... I'll tell you something about later. He needs to get a couple more, uh, you'll see later. But, uh, Ghosty's out of the lineup. I, my line of reasoning behind that is I already have a really good, uh, special attacker in, uh, Espeon. So he's really, Ghosty's really not needed, sadly, as much as I like Ghosty. It's not really needed. And what is going on here? It's like a film studio. This is weird. Let's talk to Mr. Hey, it's Lady Venus! Okay, folks, we're ready to go on the air. Oh, let's go interrupt their show. Let's go mess with your show. Ha, you suck. Ah, I'm scoring. Oh, wait. They're not. They're ready to go in there. They're on there. Oh, what's this guy? Lady Venus is especially confident in the right profile. Oh, uh, really? Cause he's the right camera guy. He's like, oh, yeah. She's really likes it over here. And why is he wearing? He looks very weird. It's a pink sweatshirt. I don't know. Let's talk to her. Testing, testing the rain on in the thunder is accompanied by thunder. Huh. What do you want, Lady Venus? You were talking to Anne. You must be a bad guy, woman. You two. We're hold you're holding up the film shoot. We're about to begin filming. Wait, who are you? Ack! I recognize those faces. Those faces were on the headquarter blacklist. How do you find us? But that's not important now. I'll squash you myself and r collect a reward for Master Nascar. Oh, crap. I really should have healed. So now we have fight Cypher Admin Venus. And I never noticed that I have his diamonds on her, uh... I guess... Would they be diamonds? I guess maybe they're crystals. That would actually make sense to something. Spoiler, but it I never really noticed that crystals don't on her dress. Guess that crystals on her dress before, but uh yeah. So the reason I took Ghosty out is I oh I already did I already made that speech. But right now we have to fight Cipher Ad Admin. Venus, Lady Venus, is known by everyone else. So far, well, at this matchup right here, even though we are kind of out-leveled, I'm really happy I, uh, uh, went- Oh, nice critical. I'm really happy I went out and leveled up my Poke- What? Seriously? But, I'm really happy I went out and leveled my Pokemon before this fight, because I would have had, like, level 30s and 34s trying to fight these 45s. I would have got completely owned, like, Dacum. Probably during that whole Dacum failure thing, I should have went and trained a little bit somewhere. But I guess I was stupid, and wow, that did not go as planned. Did he even get to attack? No, he didn't even get to go after Delkitty. Oh, I'm really going to lose this fight. I probably should have healed. Uh, and also, I took the... I, I purified a lot of Pokemon. Entei is actually purified now. I'll show you that if I die after this fight. I doubt I'll win this, but... I purified a lot of Pokemon, and I took Entei out of the lineup because it just... It might sound weird like this, but it just didn't seem right carrying around Pokemon that's not going to be part of our team for the rest of the game. So I wanted to keep him out of it, but I purified a lot of Pokemon on my way in Mount Battle, so I'll show you them after this, but yeah. So this fight is not going well at me all. It, for me at all. Jesus Christ, I can't speak today. Oh, and we're already pretty much about the time we should be ending the video. But I'll continue fighting Lady Venus, and sorry there really hasn't been any content, it's basically just been catching you, oh my god, Steelix's model looks so cool in 3D, but it's basically been catching you guys up since the last episode, because I've played this game like 3 or 4 hours today, because it's, it's thrown outside, I really didn't feel like going outside at all, I just want a chill day, especially because I just got my exam week done, they weren't as hard as everyone as you really think it's like oh my god exam no i don't know why i've been doing that so much lately i'll say something that'll be like Whoa. okay i know you're in love with delcaddy but you're fu you're uh hurting steelix 
Wow, I thought that wouldn't do as much because I thought rock types usually rock types usually have high defenses, but I just got done my exam week, so I was basically just chilling today. So, yeah, I've been I played this like three or four hours going through map battle. This game would to do fights and everything like I could have been map battle maybe cut an hour or two off that time. Just the all these animations I'd have to go through. That's what I I wish this game would have the feature that the handheld games and why not we'll just set out Letty and I wish this had the feature the handheld games had where you can uh you can just for the why can I nothing you can for the battle animations that they usually have during uh the gameplay you can turn them off so the fights go faster but it doesn't look as cool I wish you could do that I would definitely wow Letty and did a great job I wish you could just do that and make the battles go a little bit faster but I guess that is Part of the appeal of Coliseum that it's all like, whoa, 3D graphics. And I remember, I forget who brought up a good point about this game that it's all double battles. I think that was John Connery. Sorry, I always bring him up, but he's just got me started and he's like one of the. I really don't watch that many Let's Players when you think about it. It's a lot of Call of Duty commentators, and I don't really like making videos like that. I don't know why. If you guys have any Let's Players I should check out, or maybe I should check out you and your dual com with you, leave a comment down below. And, uh, which one? What's your name? I, I feel bad for forgetting your name. Gavin. I will do that dual com with you. I just forgot. Sorry. Tough week. I've been sick. Yeah, I, I had that cold. I sounded. Wait. What did I record with gold? Oh yeah, I have a episode of more games with friends coming up with you guys soon, but I want to get a Coliseum episode out before that because I haven't done one of these in a while. But I would add more video up for you guys, and I had it to edit, but I just like something in my head was like get a Coliseum or Mario video out before you do that, or it's wrong. I always have like those weird YouTube misconceptions where I always got to see, and now you can see Psybeam so much better power than Confusion. I. I'll go check after this turn of how much more I'm getting, and I'm actually doing... And why didn't that kill? Ooh! Nice! I guess it does still have the effect of confusion. But... I'll go look up the... On the little screen F when we get the chance to choose our moves again, and we might actually win this fight. That is really weird. I did not expect it all going this with four Pokemon, and they're all being hurt. And that's why I said Crystal be could be type of a spoiler. And Lady Venus has Suicune, the water legendary dog of the trio of Entei comes from. And actually, I didn't think this was coming up soon, but Suicune is the sixth person I would like to add to my team. I don't want to use any uh, of the other dogs. Like, I could easily replace, what's his name, uh, Quilava. Oh, and I should probably check the power of the moves right now. I could easily place... Replace Kulava with Entei. Okay, no, I know he's already met on Entei. It's summer. I could easily fit. Okay, let me just check this real quick before I start going on that tangent. Okay, it's 15 more, but with stab at it, same type attack bonus. It's 1.5 times the attack value if it's the same type. So it, it, it's a significant difference, and though every point counts in a Pokemon battle. Every point pounds. Pound. Okay, I was talking about adding Suicune to my team, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so, Sweet, I could easily replace Entei with uh, Quilava, but using all legendaries kind of seems cheap because they're a lot easier to use because they have really good stats. But I do need a warder type to round out my team, and I could go with Quagsire, but I kind of want to use one of the dogs, and Suicune is one of my favorite dogs, and no, we don't actually... Nah, it's not really worth it in this game, but let me check what moves I have. Because uh, the AI really don't switch out that much, so I really don't think it's worth it to put Mean Look in. So, I did need a water type to round out my uh, team, and I could have used Quagsire. Okay, no, I don't want to... Yes, I want to stop using... <laughs> no, yes, maybe. I want to stop using mean... learning Mean Look, but... I could have used Quagsire to round out my team with the water type, but... Uh... One, I really like Suicune. Suicune looks really cool. And two, I I don't know. Just Suicune's cool. And I also needed an ice type. I, I'm i trying to think what weaknesses my team could not stand for. And I'm trying to get Shadow Ball also for Espeon. So it all also has like a other secondary. And wow, I'm really fumbling over my commentary in this episode. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little bit 
uh, away from recording for a while. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to get all my thoughts out and stuff and things. And wow, this is an extra long episode. I just looked over at my time. Hopefully, we'll get this done in a tiny bit so I don't keep you guys here. But if you like longer episodes, actually leave a comment down below. Because most of the time, I try to take a big chunk and cut it down even when it's two or three, like... It's all recorded in one. I usually cut down the two or three. Do you guys like like content slowly paced out, or do you like big videos? And oh, sweet coon is like I might win this battle with four Pokemon. That is crazy. If I do this, I feel like the greatest player of all time. Even though I'm not. You know what? I know what I'm gonna use on it. Premier Ball. It's basically a Pokeball, but it's all white. But let's go. I really hope that works. But sweet coon, I kind of have like. A funny history. I love the gold and silver games, which is they are definitely my favorite out of the Pokemon series. And I have like a funny backstory. I didn't know how to pronounce a lot of the Pokemon's name quite. So my grandma one time was eating a soup and she was like, Hey, you wanna try the zucchini? I was like, Zucchini, that's the name of that Pokemon. I thought Suicune was pronounced zucchini. So I was like, Oh, I can just call it zucchini. Look, I got the zucchini. Looking back on it, it's pretty funny, but I don't know. I have a really weird selective, like, memory thing. Oh, don't kill yourself, Suicune, please. I want to say, hey, I want to add you to your team, and it's going to end up killing itself. But just a little funny story the, that I somehow have a selective uh, photographic memory with. So we did the whole show off with the Premier Ball, and I bought a couple Ultra Balls while we were out too as a help catch, but I'm just going to call there so I don't have to do an attack. I could have used an item, maybe heal up Espeon, but I'm just hoping the guy that I catch Suicune, and I do this in one try, unlike freaking Dakum that took like 20 tries to catch it, please. I get less shakes with the Premier, more shakes with the Premier Ball, that's freaking stupid. Espeon! No, it's no good, it's not, no, don't kill yourself, please don't kill yourself, please don't. Kill Espeon. I really should have used a healing item. That was... Oh, no. Suicune, please don't kill yourself. I want you for my team. Oh, then I'll have to end up using Quagsire. And then I'll just be like an idiot. Come on, Ultra Ball, please. I'm praying to the Lord Pokemon Gods Almighty. I'm being sacrilegious. But I don't care. Catch Suicune, please, 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 please. Come on, come on. I don't want to get, like, Super Mario raging on this. One shake. You... Freaking pizzas! I can't get it through an episode of anything without yelling freaking pizzas, I don't think. Surf. I forgot Suicune had Surf, but I, if we catch... When we catch Suicune, we won't get to see it for a while. I'm down. Hold on. You're a freaking tank. You got this. Let's go. If I run out of Ultra Balls or... I got lucky... No. 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 Again. Really? But I'm doing a perfect on a fight. I heard my game disc skipping and I was like, oh, what could ever could that be? Because I was playing on my Wii to get better uh, graphics because I could play my game view and somehow, because it's like five or six years older, it works perfectly, but my Wii doesn't want to and I have it half apart and then I just hear, <laughs> I'm like, no, don't skip now, don't skip now. But, yeah, I started up my Wii, and I put it in the first time. Usually it takes five or six times to get the game loaded, and it started up right away. I was like, yeah, it'll be a great time to record an episode. No! I got this again. If you want to see my first rage of when I started to notice my Wii was freaking breaking, you can look at the link right there, but I guess I'm going to end off this episode here. Next time, let's play Pokemon Galaxy, and we're going to go and replay again you guys would you guys mind if i just play this on my game so i won't have to have this keep happening to me again and again and again please for the love of god just say yes it's a it's it might be a big difference in quality or maybe not that big but uh, maybe i'll do like a side to side just let me play on the freaking gamecube i don't know i want the better quality but yeah i hate my life see you guys next time